Welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be taking a look at my Sega Saturn controller collection. It's not much, but this is the controller that I um can't remember if this came with the Sega Saturn that I bought three or four years ago. But it's an original controller. Still works great. A little dusty since I've had it. Uh, sitting in my gaming closet for a while now. I haven't picked up my Sega Saturn in oh, a couple of years. Haven't played it for that long. Um, but yeah, bought this controller and plan to just use use it. It is the MK80116 model. I'm not sure if that'll show up. Try to get it to focus. There we go. Um, but yeah, great controller. Very similar to the Genesis six button controller. And I believe there's adapters out there that will allow you to play this controller on your Sega Genesis. I'm not for certain though. Um, I did consider getting the white Japanese six button Saturn controller in the end settled on that one for a while until I bought Nights into Dreams and then I bought this controller I was recently considering buying the Japanese version of um, this controller as well but did not this was kinda of pricey when I bought it um, you can find this controller um, for a decent price depending on where you look and um, what the seller is asking but another great control I believe the Japanese version has a rubber top to it instead of a plastic -y, or a plastic top to the uh, joystick here I remember when the Saturn came out and seeing advertisements for it in gaming magazines back in 95-96 um, you got your Rubberized start button, nice D pad, just your standard Genesis Saturn uh, face buttons here. The model number is MK0117, so this controller came directly after the original Saturn controller. Comfortable in the hands, you have your left and right triggers there on the back um yeah this is ideal for playing like Nights into dreams not sure if it's compatible with panzer dragoon but um would be an, uh, an ideal controller for that game um i'll look that up and put that in, in the description box down below it's not really um <coughs> uh, thinking about that uh before making this video some people like this controller some people don't i personally like it um and after looking at some mods for the Sega Saturn, there are is a mod out there to where you can um, mod it by a uh, action replay that has been modified to play uh, backups for your games. Um, so I'm considering doing that. Not sure if my Sega Saturn disk drive even works. So that's another reason to possibly do it. Um, a recent purchase. The Retrobit Sega Saturn controller. This is the clear blue edition. There is a um, another model that where it's black. It's kind of has the uh, yeah, it's the Japanese uh, color scheme. Was gonna buy that first and then um, decided on this one since it was the only one in stock um, at the time, unfortunately. But yeah, settled on this guy. Um, so this is compatible with Sega Saturn, of course, Sega Genesis Mini, PC, Mac, PS3, and Switch. So I'll be using it on my original Saturn and uh, Switch. Um, maybe I use it on the PS3, I don't know. We'll see. But excellent uh, looking packaging here. It looks exactly like the uh, original Sega Saturn controller. This is the 2.4 gigahertz edition. There is a Bluetooth version that uh, recently came out, but you get 
really nice box just like you did with the retrobit Sega Genesis controller the six button version there's also a Bluetooth version of that don't own that don't really plan on buying it since I have uh, this and the other retrobit Sega Sega Genesis six button controllers wired and the 2.4 gigahertz models but you get a nifty box here nice uh, plastic box to store your controller in along with the adapters and cable or uh, sorry charging cable so that's pretty cool um, so yeah you get your uh, six button uh, layout here, home button, select button, start of course, and the D-pad. I have not opened this, haven't had a chance to play it. I've um, been playing my games on my Switch, mainly digital, um, lately, that is. So, that is my Sega Saturn controller. At this time, I don't have plans to buy any more controllers for the system. Since I just don't use it enough, there's really no sense in me spending a bunch of money on uh, controllers and peripherals and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you would like to subscribe, go ahead and do so. You will see more content uh, weekly, uh, anywhere from two to four videos a week. It just depends on what I'm doing uh, at any given time. So, yeah, that's all for now, guys. Thank you very much for watching.